Meghan Markle, not surprisingly, on the cover of three magazines just out today. This after Prince Harry and Meghan made their first public appearance last Friday since announcing their engagement. We're still so excited about this, yeah. but for Meghan, it's a whole new world out there. Royal protocol is certainly at the top of the list of things to learn. Sadly, so is the danger she faces as a member of the royal family, and that's where anti-terrorist training comes in. If you're a terrorist organization, don't screw around with the SAS. Uh, they'll kill you. That sounds comforting for Meghan, who will get to know this deadly British fighting force well when she undergoes required royal anti-terrorist training, courtesy of the SAS, or Special Air Service, an organization so secret members past and present conceal their identities. We always train for headshots so that uh, you got a guaranteed kill. So what can Megan expect? Discovery Channel's weaponology went deep inside the SAS. And one thing's for certain, fake bullets are useless for these guys. All training that we do always, always has to be live because otherwise it's pointless doing. That includes real stun grenades and flashbangs. Megan will train in a number of scenarios that include how to drive out of an ambush, avoid being kidnapped, and how to act in the event that she's taken hostage. The hostage training takes place in a facility with a deadly name. Welcome to the Killing House. The SAS pioneered a technique called the, the Killing House, where they practice hostage rescues. Prime ministers and royalty, nicknamed VIPs, have all been subjected to the killing house, live ammo and all. Prince Charles, uh, Princess Diana, actually in the room, total darkness. The VIPs watching, screened off in the corner. And then a team of four guys will come in in a split second, throw stun grenades, shoot at all the targets, which are literally inches behind them, hit the targets, miss the VIP, snatch the VIP and take them out of the room. And it's dangerous. During her training session in 1983, Princess Diana was struck in the head by a stray pellet from a flashbang grenade, setting her hair on fire. Only a quick-thinking soldier saved her from serious injury. Former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher trained in the killing house and lived up to her nickname, the Iron Lady. She wanted to be the hostage, so she sat at a table and she put a handbag on the table. And there was two guys to her sort of aides, a guy called George. So he said, right, George, you sit there. You know. So we done this, this, this drill where we all came in. And George collapsed to the floor. And Fatia just sat there with her bag, and she was taking it all in. And she said, get up, George, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I mean, of course, we hope she never has to use that training, but good to know. Yeah, I can't believe Princess Diana's hair caught on a fire. famous hair.